Don't mind me, Bonnie. This is just me trying to figure out how to shoot the iconic vineyard angle. So just cut all this out while I try and figure it out. Good, good. It's been lovely. I hope that you're enjoying today. It really is quite an iconic thing that we're doing. There we go. This is it. Okay, you can include from now. So, you gonna tell me where we're going? Well, it's gonna be cold. <gasps> we're going to Melbourne, and then we're gonna go and see the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child play. Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh, it's taken. enjoyed that little uh, intro and update of my 30th birthday. Can't believe I'm 30. Um, had a really lovely day with my friends and my boyfriend and my boyfriend also gave me a little surprise trip to Melbourne um, to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. You guys probably saw some of the clips but um, yeah it was a really really lovely weekend. It feels kind of sad saying goodbye to my 20s because in a way I feel like they were such a fun, experimental learning uh, period of my life. And you guys were there for a lot of that, which is um, crazy. Uh, but, you know, also really exciting going into my 30s, feeling like I know myself so much better and I know what I like and I've got so much more figured out that I think it's gonna be really fun. I don't feel how I thought I would feel when I thought about being 30, if that makes sense, which I think is just going to continue to be life. Like when I was younger, I used to think about how I would feel when I'm 30 and how I would feel when I'm 40 and 50 and 60. And, you know, I don't think that it's ever what you really expect um, because you always kind of feel the same, but different. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Aging is a weird. But one thing I do want to do to kind of mark uh, coming into my 30s and I guess setting the tone for this next decade is to actually take myself on a solo trip because I really want to just do something that is completely for me. I've never done a trip where I haven't had to consider another person um, and I love traveling with people of course but I think 
doing something like this will really teach me a lot about myself. It will also set the tone that I can do things for myself just to enjoy for myself and kind of have that brave element to it that I want to really embrace in my in my 30s and um, as much as I love connecting, as you guys know, I want to also be able to challenge myself in areas where I feel like I struggle, which is definitely more being alone, doing things by myself. Before we continue on with the rest of the video, I want to say a quick thank you to Natural Cycles for sponsoring this video. I've spoken about Natural Cycles a few times on my channel, but if you don't know, they are a natural birth control app. I think that birth control is such a personal choice and there are lots of amazing options out there for women but this is the one that I personally use and have been doing so for many many years and how it works is that you put your basal temperature into the app every morning and the algorithm determines whether or not you are fertile based on that temperature and also other indicators which you can enter your basal temperature actually rises when you ovulate um, and you are only fertile for six days out of your cycle so the app will either give you a red day or a green day green day being you're not fertile and you're good to go red day being you are fertile and you can't have unprotected sex it says right here that it is 93% effective with typical use and 98% effective with perfect use and um, also something else to note with the whole Roe v Wade which has been overturned in America absolutely horrible news um, natural cycles works very hard um, to protect your data and you know, keep that safe from any outside person. A big disclaimer that this does not protect you against STDs, so make sure you're wearing protection to stay safe. If you would like to give Natural Cycles a try, you can use my code BONNIE20 for 20% off your annual subscription and a free thermometer. Uh, the link will be down in my description below. <laughs> Okay. I have a few cleansers on rotation at the moment, but I just use this Paula's Choice uh, Pore Refining Cleanser, and this is absolutely beautiful. I love how this feels on my skin. Um, very effective, but not too harsh, and I have dry, sensitive skin, so... You know, don't want anything too stripping or too crazy, so really loving this cleanser. I cleanse in the mornings to, you know, obviously wash off the night and start my day nice and fresh, but mainly to wash off something that I put on before I go to sleep, which is my new favorite part of my nighttime skincare routine, and it's kind of random, Vaseline. Now, I know what you might be thinking, why? Would you put this on your face and i don't know if you've seen it being talked about in other skincare videos but i first found out about vaseline as like a skincare product for your face and whatnot um from hiram i think it was and i watched a few other videos where they talked about slugging which is where you like cover your face in vaseline before you go to sleep and i never really tried it because i thought it would feel really gross and like I just didn't think that Vaseline would be that good um, but recently Emily's been doing it and then she made me want to try it and I'm completely obsessed with it now so what it's meant to apparently do is that Vaseline kind of creates like this seal on your face and it like locks in all the moisture and all the good stuff and it protects and rebuilds your skin barrier because Vaseline is like the way it is, it kind of just acts as a seal and um, yeah, it, it like, it rejuvenates your skin overnight. It's absolutely incredible. It feels horrible, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the feeling of coating my face in Vaseline. It's very sticky, it kind of is sticky for hours and hours and hours even after you go to sleep. But the results were so good that I love it and I keep doing it. I haven't been doing it every night, maybe every second or third night. And I don't do it when I'm putting anything too intense on my face. So like I just put a simple moisturizer and then a Vaseline. I won't do it when I'm doing like a retinol night or anything that's um, too intense because the Vaseline kind of traps everything 
on your skin so you don't want to put anything too irritating on so after my cleanser this morning i'm putting on a little bit of hyaluronic acid this one is also from paula's choice then i'm going in with the biology um, bf serum which I can't remember what's actually in this because it's on the box, but my friend recommended it to me and I really love it. I think it's really glowy and hydrating. Um, I just love how my skin looks and feels after I put this on. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of this anti-aging vitamin C. Paula's Choice, it's niacinamide with vitamin C. I'm going to put a little bit of that on. It's kind of like a, a creamy consistency. At the moment I have... A few different serums and things that I kind of just switch up in my routine from them I've also been really loving the rich moisturizer and the retinol treatment but I'm they're more of a nighttime thing Hiram moisturizer uh, the selfless by Hiram niacinamide moisturizer this one's just really light kind of perfect for the daytime I've also been quite enjoying the um, biology um, rosehip oil i don't usually put a lot of oil on my face but rosehip is different it doesn't it only does good things but i'm just putting a little bit just underneath my eyes because that's where i tend to get dry um and it kind of gives my cheeks like this nice little glow and then last but not least of course we have sunscreen this is the ultraviolet uh spf 50 plus from I just get this from Sephora and one of my favorite things about this is that it smells like roses capsule wardrobe update I finally added in a white button up oversized collared shirt this one's from Rowie the label that um, I was needing in my wardrobe Popping on the new YCL uh, star sign symbol, which is like a small one. It's a little baby crab for my cancer. So I don't know if you guys kind of picked up on it throughout this video, but my main birthday present from the girls was a Dyson air wrap for my 30th and I'm dying. It's the best thing I've ever owned. Um, it's made my hair life so great one of my favorites is this brush um i think it's like the i don't know what it's called the soft blow or something brush um and it makes the hair really straight but also with a slight blow dry kind of feel i did my hair yesterday but i'm just going to go over it today to kind of freshen it up a little bit i'm going to put in some of my olaplex oil which i love it smells kind of like melons I think <laughs> I love puzzles they are one of my favorite ways to be mindful, to be, to relax and unwind and get my mind off things. I got this puzzle the other week in Melbourne from the Van Gogh expedition, which was fantastic by the way, if you get the chance to see it. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I accidentally got the vanilla oat milk instead of the normal oat milk at the shops yesterday. And I thought I would give it a try in my tea and it's really not it. <laughs> in other news, my uh, vinyl wall hangings came the other day and I love them. <laughs> Got Harry's House, Red Taylor's version and Evermore on the wall at the moment. Um, but I like that I can switch them out depending on, on the vibe um, because they're just like leaning, leaning. So I thought I'd finish off this vlog with a bit of a chat with you guys. Um, because I haven't been feeling that great about making content for my YouTube channel lately and I wanted to be honest with you guys about that. Um, you can probably tell that I'm not uploading as much or maybe not even as personal content 
as I used to and I think that's just because well two reasons one I'm feeling extremely burnt out um, sorry my card got full as soon as I started talking um, what I mean by burnt out is more just exhausted of sharing my personal life with so many people and as much as I love doing that and I love connecting with you guys and making these videos you know they're such a creative outlet in a way I also feel like now that it's been so long and all the things I've learned from sharing my life online I feel exhausted from having to consider sharing things with people um, and I'm, I'm starting to get to a place in my life where I don't want to share as much personal stuff or at least I don't want it to be um, my job um, <laughs> I don't want it to be something that I have to do to have income and it's taken me a long time to really come to terms with that um, and I think another thing that's helped me come to terms with that is I started another YouTube channel with my roommate and best friend Emily where we react to music and that's kind of taken off and we've started a Patreon and um, it's a really it's a really wonderful community and I really love those videos because I'm still connecting with people but I don't have to share my life I don't have to yeah I just get to talk about my favorite thing in the world which is which is music and and kind of it's not so personal um, so I've I've really been leaning into that and kind of putting a lot more of my energy into that and less of my energy into this I guess because naturally it just it's just shifted that way um, anyway so I guess what I'm saying is I am gonna be taking a bit of a step back from my channel over the next six months um, I don't know exactly where that's gonna leave me I might come back to it um, in a different format or um, I might not or I might just more upload when I have it, when I'm inspired to make a video I really love my travel videos I really love documenting those moments um, and and doing something creative and fun with them I'm incredibly grateful for this channel for all the years that we've shared together and all the things I have shared with you guys and 90% of you are so amazing and supportive and um, have given me this incredible life where I get to I get to do this but it's come with its with its toll um, and I think that toll has been emotionally for me and mentally um, having to think about everything that you say and construct these kind of videos they're not feeling authentic to me anymore um, they're not feeling true uh, it's it's really quite impossible to show one's life in these videos and so therefore sometimes I think that I'm not showing a true expression of my life either because I simply can't show you everything. <laughs> um, I think that YouTube and social media are changing a lot and I think that the typical vlog style is feeling stale um, and feeling, I don't know, like inauthentic because we all know that everyone's life is not that great. Um, and I, I try not to make my life look that great, but it's also a bit of a downer to, well, it's, it's, it's emotionally very taxing to share the ups and the ups and the downs because it's one thing, thing to live them. It's another thing to have hundreds of thousands of people comment on them <laughs> and um, share their opinion on them. It's, it's simply overwhelming, even if they're positive, you know obviously if they're negative but it's it's simply overwhelming to consume to be connected to that many people in a way I think that's what I've realized it's almost when it, especially when it comes when it comes to more personal things and more personal topics and and um, not you know music or an, our favorite album or something I'm realizing that that feels so much easier and lighter to talk and share about because it doesn't involve what I'm choosing 
to have for breakfast or what I'm choosing, how I'm choosing to live my life. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to be taking a bit of a step back from my channel and focusing more on my other channel and my Patreon and merch and also my Instagram because I have some individual things that I really want to be working on, like potentially a pottery range and um, other fun things. So, you know, I'll still be around. <laughs> on that note, I want to say a genuine huge thank you to every single person that's watched my videos, that's commented, that's interacted, that's supported me throughout all of these years. Um, it's not goodbye, it's just, you know, there's going to be some spaces between videos. I feel like universally we're all kind of going through it at the moment. So I'm sending you love. I'm hoping that you're healthy and you're taking it day by day and you're getting through it. Um, and I'll see you around. I'll see you on my Instagram. I'll see you here, I'm sure, again. And it just might not be for a while. Um, and I'll see you on Chats and Reacts if you if you watch us over there. <laughs> so yeah, love you guys. Bye. Oh.